All right, guys, today we are in a little bit different of a setting. We're in my dining room because I thought what I would do today is, yes, share a brand new Dollar Tree haul with you all. And then what I thought would be fun is Bill brought up a tote from my basement that I don't think I've opened in two years. And I know you all love a good treasure hunt, right? So I thought we could unbox that tote together and see what spring and Easter treasure it may contain. Hey everybody, it's Shelby with a Chick Plus 3. Welcome. So I'm really excited. I'm excited about the Dollar Tree items that I have to share and then about, um, I'm really anxious to get into this tote and see what goodies that I put away a couple of years ago that I undoubtedly this old mind has forgotten about. So we're going to jump right into this. There's Mr. Bread. <laughs> that was pleasant. Okay, we're going to jump right into this. What do you say? Let's go. And I'm not editing out that hack by Mr. Bryn because that's real life. That's my life with Bill and I and our plus three uh, fur babies. A lot of hacking, yakking, and everything in between. All right, guys, these first items, I did not know these were out this year at the Dollar Tree. Now, I know they've had them definitely at Christmas. I wish they'd bring them out for Halloween. I've never seen them for Halloween. And um, I'm sure they were out last Easter, but I think different designs. And they are the spatulas. I love these things. Even if you don't use them to cook, they are just so darn sweet for decor. So that is the label, the Easter label. Um, and this one says Hoppy Easter with the bunny there in this gorgeous pink and then this beautiful like minty green with a hint of blue it says cottontail farms carrots chocolates and eggs and they do have the little hole there excuse you mr Bryn. i'm sorry everybody they do have the little hole there that you could use them for hanging so not only was there this adorable goodness but there was this set too. In fact, here, let me get this apart so I can show them better. Look at this gorgeous yellow and then this Easter pink. Now the yellow one just has the um, silhouette of a rabbit and it is in pink and white gingham check. So it coordinates with this one. And this has just a very simple painted Easter egg on it and I'll tell you guys if you're not like thrilled about the designs on these and you're using them in decor just flip them around you know I have my um, like themed Dollar Tree spatulas in a mug that was purchased for me um, a Mimi mug and so I use that on my kitchen counter to hold all of my little Dollar Tree uh, spatulas and um, what do you call those turny things. I thought they were spatulas too. But in any case, that's how I display mine. I happen to love the photos on these. I should have taken this twist tie off earlier for you guys yeah there so that you can really see them but i was so excited to find these as i said i didn't know they were out again this year so um they weren't even on my wish list but there they were oh and now these next things so these were on my wish list now in the walkthrough i showed you guys a whole bunch of them so i ended up picking up uh two of them because you know i'm definitely not somebody that likes to overbuy. I don't want to buy just to buy. That's why I love to do the walkthroughs so that I can share everything with you that is in the Dollar Tree because, you know, nobody's bringing home every single item in the Dollar Tree. Well, I don't know, maybe some people do, but um, my budget or my um, 
living area would never allow for that. But I did bring this home. This is by Crafters Square and they're calling it a trim pack. You get three pieces. So you get this uh, particular one has the yellow rickrack and then look at this little chick like ribbon here and then of course the yellow pom-poms. Now this does not tell you how like many, oh no, see I spoke too fast, it's hidden under the pom-poms. You get one yard, so each of these pieces is one yard and I don't know, I'm somebody that has a hard time visualizing um, measurements so I'm going to show you exactly what one yard looks like. So let's get this open and it's nice they don't have it like taped or stapled or anything um, so I appreciate that they have it wound around this cardboard piece. So here you go one yard. So um, look at that from my right shoulder out to my fingertips. So that's kind of handy. I could stretch it, make it a little bit longer. But so that's one yard. So not a massive amount. But so in this package, you get three yards. One package to me certainly would be enough to use to decorate one of the Dollar Tree um, Easter trees. Or if you're like me and you use the white trees that they sold years ago. And they bring them out every year for Christmas. Um, one pack would certainly give you plenty of, you know, three cute little pieces of garland. So that's the yellow one. And then I think I'm like everybody else, right? Like kind of uh, falling into the carrot trap. I've always loved carrots to eat and I love carrots uh, to decorate with in the spring and Easter. And so I found this package. And again, you get the yard of orange rickrack the yard of the orange pom-poms, and then you get the yard of the little carrot garland. And that's the one that really intrigued me because you can get the pom-poms um, on spools at the Dollar Tree too. So if you wanted to just add some more pom-pom to the mix, you can buy that separately. And that is um, at my Dollar Tree, not... Uh, under the Easter label. It's just Crafters Square. So I was going to see if we could get the carrot off of here. Or well here, at the least. I can give you a much better close-up of that. But isn't that just the sweetest? So great job Greenbrier. I am so happy that the Dollar Tree is bringing out brand new fun. Easter goodness for us. So uh, those are some of the things that I added to my Easter collection 2023. But now we are going to grab the big tub of Easter treasure and uh, see what I put away a couple of years ago. And because I have no idea what's in there. The tub, I'll show you, it's not even see-through. So I don't have any clue. All right, here's the tote. This thing is heavy. It says Easter decorations on it. Um, but so let's uh, dig in and see what is inside. All right, guys. I <laughs> love to pack things. It's like a Tetris game, you know, um, like packing stuff in and making a lot fit well. I can tell you, I obviously packed a lot of stuff into this tub. So the first thing, and I won't take forever with this stuff. This obviously is one of the Dollar Tree little bunny burlap bags. Here's Dollar Tree ribbon, and I can tell how these are cut. I use um, these ribbon bands around like my Ray Dunn canisters, my battery operated candles, just to dress them up for each season because I don't buy um, like themed things like that. I don't have the money or the storage space, so I just take my everyday things and dress them up for the holiday. Now here, 
<laughs> this may frighten some of you. Maybe I should have given you a warning. But um, my son, who is an adult, made this when he was in preschool. So I put that out every year. Here are some of the Dollar Tree uh, eggs on the sticks. Oh, and some of the bunnies that they had. These were sold in multiple packs. Another Dollar Tree item there. Oh, so see, look at this, guys. It's tough getting old. Look at this set I just pulled out. I bought another one this year. Well, maybe I will send it. I don't need duplicates. I will now have, hey, a brand new set to send to a friend. But, so... I have those. Now this is another Easter spring spatula. I know that this one though came from, I want to say, Michael's. Um, yes, because it would have come, you know, or Marshall, someplace like that. But I got that as a set. Now these I crafted out of Dollar Tree items, but I crafted these, um, I would say, 28 years ago. And I think I should have picked a different color for the eyes. But it's just a plastic egg, pom-poms, felt, ribbon, a little bit of wire. Um, and so I had made one for each member of um, my immediate family. There's four of us. Um, so kind of different little themes. So I crafted those. And I think they still, you know hold up to today. They're not as sophisticated as many of the Easter crafts out there, but they're cute in their own kind of old-timey way, right? Now here's some of the Dollar Tree foam rabbits, and you can see I just skewered them because then I use these picks in different places throughout my house. Some of the little white buckets that are sold at the Dollar Tree in the wedding section. Um, oh, this rabbit plastic dish. I want to say, see, and I, I hate labels, so I take stuff off. I'm thinking that was either a Target or a Michaels a few years ago, probably when it was like uh, $3. Now I bet um, at Target this would be 5 Yet yeah, more of the rabbits. This little lamb is something that I think literally Bill gave me, um, oh, like, like 35 years ago. I was trying to see. I don't know. Doesn't matter. I can't read the label even with my glasses on. Okay, now this is something, guys, here, let me see if I can get this out, that I thrifted at a Goodwill years ago, and it worked so, I think, wonderfully for Easter. It was this vintage um, baby blanket, and just look at the kittens with the little flowers. I picked this up for like 99 cents at um, a Salvation Army, and so I use it for Easter decor, and when I pack my stuff away, you see it works really nicely to protect things. But isn't that just the sweetest? So I have that, and then I have this wrapped in it. And again, guys, I don't know this little rabbit. They're like, I have a collection. Oh, I don't think you can see it but I think it's back there of hens on nest. So this is a little rabbit on nest. I probably picked that up at Michael's or Target. Um, Dollar Tree bunny butts. I'm sure these are available this year. And then I crafted this um, again out of Dollar Tree products. I know so many of you ask about my crafting. I just never um, really share it on the channel. There's so many fabulous YouTube crafting channels that um, I feel like I don't know. I don't know if anybody would enjoy watching me do a craft. But this is just one of those little like wood samples um, that you can get like at the Home Depot or Lowe's. And so when we've had those around, I'm a saver. I save everything and I used it for crafting. And then this just stands up. So um, 
I made that out of Dollar Tree items. Here is a Dollar Tree rabbit container. Oh, and inside I just have my collection of little chicks. So, store things inside of stuff, right, to make more room. All right, all of these loose carrots, I'm sh these were all Dollar Tree too. There's a ton of them in here. Oh, here's another item that I crafted. So this, can you see the heart in there? This is those uh, Dollar Tree boxes. And it was a Dollar Tree wood carrot cutout. I painted it, used some of the Dollar Tree greenery to make the carrot top some of the little pom-pom rickrack, and I have a little whatever, like doodad holder, pencil holder, whatever I want to use it for. Um, but, and then this um, is, I take like, I save jelly jars, and I just put some of the Dollar Tree pretty uh, pom-pom rickrack around the top of it. All right, just the other day in the walkthrough, I shared with you guys um, these rabbit garlands. They're out at the Dollar Tree this year. I've had this one a couple of years. You know I love my garlands. Um, this is the Dollar Tree like wood garland with the carrot. I'm sure I've seen these this year. A uh, ton more of the carrots are in here. Um, Oh, another one of the bunny bags. That one has the rainbow ears. One of the Dollar Tree buckets. And then inside are the Dollar Tree, like, moss-covered little rabbits um, and some chicks down in there. Now, this is from the uh, Dollar Tree, but this one is, like, really old from 2003 it's stamped on the bottom so i have that so that's old school dollar tree for sure uh, one of the dollar tree uh like carrot bags that's in there i have so much in here guys all right this is dollar tree but you want to talk about old guys this egg garland like on fishing line this is Dollar Tree um, pre-2000, okay? I got this thing, like, I think when my youngest son was in kindergarten. So it has seen better days, but something I definitely keep. And um, I don't know if it was ever longer, but this is historic Dollar Tree garland. All right, more carrots here. Some of the Dollar Tree uh, sequined covered eggs in here. So you see, I have lots and lots of Dollar Tree. I've got all of the little, like, glitter eggs. Now, this is an egg cup that was given to me. I know it came from Hobby Lobby. And then in it, I have this egg. This is a real egg, and... Um, it's super, super old, and I used to do something called Pasanki, and it's all this layering of, like, ink and dye. Um, I think it's a Russian uh, crafting, but this thing, again, is, like, 30 years old, so I have that for my Easter decor. All right, this is a Department 56 collectible. So this would have been, yes, this was given to um, me by my mother long ago. Little bobblehead chicken there. So very darn sweet. So that always gets a special spot. Now I think this is probably Target, the salt and pepper shakers, and I think that was when they were $3. Yes, here's the matching one. So I'm pretty sure 
I want to say Target. Celebrate it is the brand. Could have been Marshalls, but I think Target. Because I don't know. Gazunis, Mr. Bryn. This I know was a Target item, and I think that was probably a set of three. What else do I have? Oh, I forgot about these. This is Dollar Tree. This I know is Dollar Tree. I haven't seen these this year. Um, you know, they had the heart ones out, but the little rabbit top. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, right? That was Dollar Tree. It's super cute. And then I have more of the Dollar Tree little... Uh, Rabbit bags. This is, this is pretty old. Um, this is a Ray Dunn candle. Of course, it says chirp there with the little chick. Um, I do like this. Um, I don't use it that often. It says it's vanilla cupcake. Still has a really nice scent. So. I will enjoy burning that. This chick's ready for Easter. That is a Greenbrier product from the Dollar Tree. Super sweet. I'm running out of space, guys. Dollar Tree treat bags. All right, let me get to the signs. I got a couple of glass things now. This I know did not come from the Dollar Tree. This I'm sure was like a Marshalls type of a purchase. Um, Dollar Tree microfiber towel. Gives me the heebie-jeebies to touch it, but works great for decor and for packing up stuff. This partnered with that other rabbit, so that would have been a like a Marshall's purchase. And then this, I think, was one uh, one year from Michael's. So I got that. Now Miss Mika Moo wants to be heard from, and then. In here are some treasured Dollar Tree signs. I love this one. So I have that. This, Happy Easter. I love the shade of blue. And then for my kitchen, that sign with the black and white buffalo check. There's another one. And then this, the same thing. This is super old school Dollar Tree. It's like a um, sun catcher. Happy Easter. I've had that thing forever and ever. And then another Dollar Tree sign. Easter greetings. I love that one. So, Dollar Tree window clings. Excuse me one minute. All right, well, luckily I'm coming to the bottom of the tub because Miss Mikamu here um, was not having it sitting down on the floor. All right, um, this could scare some of you, so warning crazy rabbit face, but <laughs> this is another rabbit. This one's got teeth that uh, one of my boys did, so I put those out every single year. Here's another one. Now this one I do not believe will scare you. <laughs> That's another one colored by my, of course, sons who are now adults. And that's everything, guys, in here but a bunch of the little Dollar Tree eggs, some more of the carrots. So I hope you enjoyed that unboxing with me. I had a lot of fun. Um, I have uh, lots of Easter decorating now to do, as you can see. So I will 
get the stuff set up and I will be sharing that in an upcoming video. So I truly appreciate you all taking time out of your busy day to spend it with me. And remember, my dear friends, until next time, please be well.